um, a lot, <laughs> obviously a lot. Don't I don't know the numbers, but I think it's almost thirty percent of the web that is done with PHP, which means that PHP has a huge impact on on the web today. Um, I think it it has lowered the barrier of entry, which means that you know everybody, I mean almost everybody, probably not my mother, but everybody can learn some PHP. Uh, do some HTML and create a dynamic website. So that's that's what is cool with PHP. You can do a lot of great stuff with without knowing really uh, what all the design patterns are, or without being a programmer really. So yeah, that's the cool stuff about PHP really. I think that it is less and less true. I mean, nowadays to create a website is much more difficult than it was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, as I said before, uh, you can just, you, you, you could just learn about HTML, some PHP, MySQL perhaps, and, and that's, that's it. Nowadays, if you want to create a website with some traffic, you need to learn about web servers and probably learn about caches and JavaScript and you know so you you have a lot of stuff to understand before being able to do even the simplest things really but I think it's still quite easy to create simple stuff which means that uh, you know 10 years ago the developer was also the one um, who worked on the HTML side of things and some JavaScript and so on and nowadays more and more we have more specialized uh, people. So some people will uh, work on, on, on the front end and some others on the back end and some others on, on the database stuff and stuff like that. So it, it is much more complex nowadays than it was even five years ago, I think. I think it's not really about um, features or, or what you can do with PHP or what you can't do with PHP because I think you can do everything with PHP. You can do everything with Python or Ruby or Java. But so it's not really a matter of feature, I think. I mean, with PHP 5 and 5.3 and the upcoming 5.4, I think we have all the tools we need to build great websites. So it's not really about the features language and it's really about the philosophy how you get things done. Uh, I think PHP is great because, you know, uh, you can get, you can, yeah, get things done pretty fast. So that's that's really the main selling point of PHP, I think. The second one is it's so easy to host a PHP website, right? And that's why uh, PHP is so popular. And that's because of the way PHP is uh, has been written, you know. So, which means that every time there is a request, at the end of the request, everything is uh, cleared, which means that you can have a new request and there is no side effect, which means that you can just put an Apache server with PHP, it will run for ever, really, literally. So you don't need to uh, take care of web server hosting PH a PHP website. It, it, it's, you know, it, it just works, that's all. I think it's much more complex to ask the website done with Java or Ruby or even Python. They try to catch up, which means that it is much easier to host a, a, a Ruby website or a Python one nowadays, but it's still much easier to just host a, a, a PHP one. So I think that's, that's why PHP is so popular. If you want to be popular, you need to be free. I think the GPL does not really make sense, I think, for, for PHP, for language. Um, and yeah, the, the license is really something that um, means that everybody is able to use your software. It can be PHP or a framework or um, what you've done with PHP, whatever. And the great thing is that because it's free, it means that it can be used by so many people. So in the enterprise, for sure, but also by people who can't afford to pay for a license, for instance. Um, uh, that's
that's what I love uh, open source because you know you can really spread the word about the best practices and how you can build websites um, and, and yeah and yeah that's why I, I like really open source licenses and why everything I do uh, is under an open source license. Yeah, there is really two sides of that. The first one is companies um, built around open source. So not just using open source, but, but creating open source and earning money thanks to uh, open source. And that's what we're trying to do at Sensio. Uh, we are a company, and our main product, Symfony, is free but we are trying to do business with free stuff, which is a bit weird, but that works. And the other side is companies um, doing stuff with open source software. So they are just using open source software to do stuff. I think there are many benefits. Uh, the first one is that you can have a look at the code, at what you are using. So if you need to fix a bug, you can. And even if you can't fix the bug, the bug you can um, have a look at the code so you can have an audit for security, for instance. So that, that's something that is really important for many companies. Uh, and it's not because it's free that there is no services, that there is no companies able to provide support. So I think um, the difference between open source softwares and um, um, paid ones um, is not that the difference is really thin nowadays because you you have the same level of support I think uh, I think it's even better with open source because uh, for instance on Symfony uh, whenever you create a ticket because there is a bug um, most of the time it, it is fixed in the next hour or in the next day this is just not possible with non free software just not possible so I think the level of support is actually better for open source than it is for uh, proprietary software. Uh, first, uh, the community. There are so many people able to uh, develop websites with PHP, which means that you will always find someone able to help you. That's the first key point. I think the second one is hosting. It is so easy to host a PHP website and to scale a website done with PHP. And the third one is, I think, yeah, the third one is, the great thing about PHP is that you are not forced to think the same way as other people, which means that, for instance, frameworks, whereas we have so many different frameworks in PHP, but you can take a framework that is really about you know, best practices, object oriented and design patterns. And that's okay, you have some, but you can also do just functional programming with, with PHP and that's also fine. So I think that's one of the, yeah, it's, it's probably the only language where you can do whatever you want. You can choose your own style when developing a website. You are not forced to embrace the old platform if you don't want to.